What's good ladies and gentlemen, it's Eric from Iraq Games and we're back with a brand new video and today we're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and we're touching a brand new deck on the channel and that's Cyber Dragons. You heard that right, Cyber Dragons in 2024 baby, you have not seen, I haven't seen this deck in a long time. Anyways, make sure to grab something to drink, grab your snack, get ready and hold on to your butts because we're about to play Cyber Dragons. Alright guys, we're here, we're playing Cyber Dragons, Cyber Style Evolution is the skill that we're playing um, I'm gonna have the deck on the side of the screen so you can see it and this deck I have not played cyber dragons like ever like not in dual links or the TCG or master duel anywhere so I went to um, oh my goodness what's that website um, duellinksmeta.com and I saw what people were playing and I mean everyone was playing pretty reasonable cards i think everybody was playing yeah core um is in the chaster natchaster i don't know i can't read but the level one um i didn't see a lot of people playing three cyber dragons i put three in the deck because i'm just like why would you not play three i mean and um this spell card let me show you guys I noticed that not a lot of people were playing Cyber Repair Plant. I thought it was good. That's why I have it at one in the deck. I thought it was a, I thought it was a good card, because uh, it lets you search. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just bad. But um, anyways, we went first. This deck, obviously, uh, a viewer, if you can't tell, if you don't know what Cyber Dragons are, I guess I should have started with that, huh? Cyber Dragons are a GX era fusion based deck, and the main way you win with this deck is basically by OTKing, which that means you just kill people fast because um, of the quick play spell cyber load fusion is a really good way to end your opponent really quickly because it's a quick play spell so that means you can play it from your hand it's a fusion from your hand and you can shuffle banished monsters too which is really cool and um i don't have cyber twin dragon which i want to get which later i don't know if this video is going to do good so if you guys want me to do another cyber dragon video um we'll see but um chimera rampage is my ace in this deck alongside nova chimera if you guys don't know what he what he does um on summon he destroys spells and traps up to the number of materials that you use um and his other effect is that you can send up to two machines from your deck to the grave which is pretty good for this deck because some of the monsters turn into si i think if not some, all of them turn into Cyber Dragon. Like they, they, their effect changes their name to Cyber Dragon. So again, with that quick play fusion spell, you can fuse them off into a fusion monster because a lot of them require Cyber Dragon to um, fusion summon, and um, their effect kicks in to where it changes to Cyber Dragon. Um, and we are also playing that I just used Cybernetic Overflow. I didn't know this card was in the game. Um, it's basically a pop where you banish normally it would be like uh, I don't know if I want to banish my monsters But again because the fusion spell shuffles your banish monsters back into the deck It doesn't really matter so you can pop as many cards on the field um, pop destroy. I don't know how Yu-Gi-Oh! E my viewers are but pop that means destroy you get to destroy cards up to up to the number of monsters that you just banished so it's pretty good pretty solid we won that game it was against the zombie deck he bricked pretty badly but i went first so i'm not really complaining anyways we're gonna go to the next one okay we're going second and it's a rank up game i am in platinum currently so not the best level of gameplay but it's decent enough i would say um we're going second which this deck does the best going second in in my humble opinion i'm pretty sure it's universal but in my opinion since it's such a powerful otk um it's my turn you're dead type deck um it's pretty good going second really good going second and because of chimera rampage dragon the fusion monster that pops spells and traps since that effect happens as he summoned it's pretty good because even if your opponent has an answer for it like a book of moon or something like or if he gets negated with like forbidden chalice or warning point like you force some you force your opponent to do something especially if they have a face down oh this is a this is a one turn kill that we do here um, yeah, because he's playing Sue Ships. He just left his... I don't know much about Sue Ships, but I just know he left a monster with zero attack alone. 
and that's not very good. I'm assuming he bricked. I'm assuming he bricked. Point is, we special summon our Cyber Dragon. Is it Nechast? Nechaster? I don't even know, bro. Um, that one, the level one. And when you special summon it, you can summon a Cyber Dragon with 2100 attack, which is exactly how many attack points normal Cyber Dragon has. So we exceed summon it with our skill. Well, no, we exceed summon Nova with our skill because it'll make the level one a level five. And we win using Nova's effect by. Um, banishing a cyber dragon on our field he gains 2100 attack so he'll be 42 and we'll attack here for game yeah so in fact yeah and he just leaves and here we are going second and alas no deck is unbeatable and surely enough neither are cyber dragons they are completely beatable this game though i don't know if i made the right moves uh, cyber dragon players if i have some cyber dragon players please let me know what I could have done instead because I thought I did the best move because I tried to play a little more defensively, but you're going to see that I forgot what, um, I forgot the wording of Azurai's Silver Dragon. So yeah, that again, reading is a fundamental skill, guys. Fundamental skill. Fundamental skill. Wow. You need to know how to read and I do not read and that's why you lose. Well, that's why I lose because... I don't read and I, I have no doubt in my mind that some peop other people have lost because they don't read either. So anyways, blue eyes, um, he summons his alternative white dragon. I guess we could watch the animation real quick. Um, I hope that didn't look super choppy. Anyway, um, yeah, he summons his blue eyes alternative white dragon and he summons his blue eyes white dragon and then he activates monster reborn. What is he? He had the stone, and he's going to Synchro Summon, Synchro 9, into the um, this one, Spirit Dragon. Um, yes, the egg, because it went to the graveyard, you get a Blue Eyes monster, boom, uh, um, what's that? Abyss? Abyss Dragon, he gets the two effects. He Special Summon, he gets to add Polymerization, or a Ritual, and then in the end phase, he gets to add a level 8 um, Dragon monster, I think. That's how it's worded. But um, it's our turn um we draw what do i do here i think i use the chester's effect yes i special summon it i don't know if that was the best move what do i do here okay yeah because then he summons azura eyes here which i thought was kind of strange i thought he would have waited because some cyber dragons have graveyard effects but hey man um he's a real go-getter huh um anyways he summons his azura eyes silver dragon so now his Mons his dragons cannot be destroyed by card effects or targeted. I thought it was just until the end of my turn, but it's until the end of the next turn. So that means it until the end of his next turn. So I played myself. I thought I thought I'd be able to pop all of his monsters, but it just it didn't. I don't know. I just I I got that. I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I just didn't read. I don't know what happened. But anyways, judging with my hand, because I had Miss MST, Cybernetic Overflow, Book of Moon, and those two, three cards, Cyber Dragon players, if I have any in the chat, I was going to say, wow, in the chat, in the comment section, like, let me know what I could have done, bro. Or maybe if I, because I know my extra deck isn't very strong going first, because my extra deck is decent going second. But it's not very strong going first. Like, my best move is probably Nova. Because Nova's effect... Oh, I mean, it'll happen in this next replay. Nova's effect is whenever he goes to the graveyard by an effect of the opponent. That means by battle or by spell or trap by monster effect. You get to cheat out a fusion monster. Which is cool. But I don't know. I mean, I wasn't able to get to him in this game. Because um, Cyber End Dragon is 4,000, so that would have survived. But he had an alternative dragon on the field, so we could have just popped it. So, yeah, that it wouldn't have been that great, if I'm being totally honest. But, hey, you win some, you lose some, right? Um, he attacks for a game with alternative dragon. All right, guys, this is going to be our final replay of the day, and it's against a Yuya Sakaki. Um, I think he was using Pendulum. I think he was, yeah. He was using his skill, Swing Into Action, Pendulum Summon. And we're using, what is it, like, evolution? Yeah, cyber style evolution. And we go first, again, which isn't the best with this deck. But I make it work, I believe. 
Well, no, yeah, I do make it work. Anyways, um, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to um, drop a like. Oh, and sorry, I'm the camera. I moved it again. So um, anyway, um, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to like it. That helps out the channel immensely. Thank you if you do that. And I mean, leave a com Cyber Dragon players. Leave a comment for me, please. Because I've always wanted to play Cyber Dragons. I've just never invested enough time into actually, like, getting gems and stuff. Because building, like, I know spending money is always an option. But this game gets expensive, bro. I'm like, if I want to spend money, I'd rather spend money, like, on the physical card game. So I can at least say I have it. Like, I can show you the card, you know? But, yeah. Um, anyways, we go first. I used this skill two times because I was curious because I misread the skill. I thought I could only use it once. But no, you could use it t um, twice. I summon Nova. He activates Dark Hole, which is an opponent's effect. And since Nova got destroyed, I'm able to um, cheat out a fusion monster from my extra deck. And that's going to be my Cyber End Dragon. And we're going to watch his animation because I have not... I mean, I've seen it before, but I haven't seen it very often, you know. Like, I know... They just don't have a lot of support. Is that the problem with Cyber Dragon? Because right now, I mean, I feel it's universal. It's just like even in the TCG, Cyber Dragon struggle going for. Well, it's because in the TCG, we have Infinity. We don't have Infinity here. Because in this game, at least from the like hour and a half that I've played with this deck, going first is really hard. Like it's, it's a struggle going first. But maybe if we get a little more support, and I feel Cyberload Fusion being limited to two is a bit much. I don't know. Maybe Konami's just scared of Cyber Dragons for no reason. Because I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it deserves to be at two. Because it's good. Don't get me wrong. But if you read the Fusion card, the only monster that can attack that entire turn is the Fusion Summon monster. It's not like you can, like, just activate it over and over again. Like... I don't know. I don't know. M maybe, maybe they'll give it, m give the deck some more support or something. I don't know, but it needs something. It needs something. That's for sure. Anyways, um, I use my Monster Reborn for Cyber Dragons to bring back my level one Cyber Dragon, and then he activates this chain card that I have not seen before. I was like, what? Like, you know, I like hit him with the, like, I don't even know what that's called. But I squinted my eyes and everything, and I was like, what? I'm like, what is that? But he basically got rid of my other copy, which isn't horrible. I attack, and his monster cannot... I have not seen this card before. I thought this card was going to cook me. I ain't going to lie. I was like, what the heck is a mimicking man-eater bug? I'm like, what is that? Because, yeah, flip, destroy, um, and he gains the attack points, and he can't be destroyed by battle. And I didn't read it, so I attacked it again, and I just it makes me look stupid because I'm like, oh... I should have read, but yeah, I really thought I was about to get cooked up by this man-eater bug with over 4,000 attack points. I was like, what in the world? Like, there's no way. I'm like, there's no way I'm about to lose this. Like, come on, man. There, there's no way. But the only way I was able to win this was through um, the trap card, through um, Cybernetic Overflow. Is that the name of it? Yeah, because I could search it through Cyber Dragon Core, which... That was a really good top deck. That's why I play three core. Um, I think most decks play three. I swear I've seen some that play two, but I play them at three. Anyways, I set Cybernetic Overflow, and I have the Fusion card face down. So he tries to set a bunch of back row, and I'm like, nah, like, nah, brother. And I pop all those three cards, and then I'm going to activate my Overload Fusion. I should have done it during the end phase. I don't know why I didn't do that, because it gave me the option, but... I don't know, I guess I, I will sleep, I don't know, but I summon Chimera, Rampage Dragon, and we're gonna pop, and yeah, he leaves the match. There we go, deck's gonna be on screen, um, it's pretty good, I'd give it a solid, like, I don't know, it's like, I don't want to give it a rating yet, because I feel like I haven't used it enough, and I'm not experienced enough, but it's not, it's certainly not bad, but I do feel like it could be better. But yeah, guys, that's Cyber Dragons. If you guys want me to play more Cyber Dragons, um, let me know. I'm trying to play with a little more 
like different decks because obviously i love raid raptors i was actually gonna make a raid raptor video but we haven't gotten any support in duel links and it just feels like i'd be showing you guys the same deck if that makes sense i am gonna play raid raptors in this upcoming kc cup so hopefully i do better than last time but yeah guys um i'm gonna catch you guys later um this upcoming monday i am bringing back a console game we're gonna be playing monster hunter stories too so be ready for that and i'm gonna catch you guys later all right um yeah i already told you monday and yeah next friday will be a Yu-Gi-Oh video so i'm gonna catch you guys later now like for real this time um make sure to like the video um <laughs> peace <laughs> sorry bro i really need to work on an ending but yeah anyway peace